Welcome to the city of Waterside and in the last part we had a bit of a ship jam which is still kind of here but I think reducing the number of the, the funding for the budget on ships seems to have eased off some of the problems and we've now got ships kind of flowing round moving I'll, once it's if it starts to get a bit sparse I will kind of increase the budget again but I think at the moment it's quite important you can still see that you still get the occasional ships sticking together here which is a little bit of a pain but and so the city's been growing I've been working on the city I've it's it from overall it doesn't look that much different than before because basically what I'm doing is filling in areas like this growing the city out working on the services and what we've done now is if I come here we've got one more service building to place and we've got the Amsterdam Palace so what I'm going to do is just I mean I, I don't particularly want to spam the, this this stuff out so I think what we're going to do is I think we're put a maybe a police station a fire station here I mean we're, we're gonna have to put power lines in but I think that would be okay actually what we can do because we should now have unlocked this building and what we could actually do is is put this in here because I mean what's the noise value of this it's a little bit noisy so maybe we can kind of put it here in what would be a, a future and we've got a little bit of a so we can then run some power lines up to here yeah I like that and of course what we're gonna we can do is also is just drop some is about par for the course for me and oh I'm gonna have to stretch and pause the game so well I don't need to pause the game I don't know why I said that just have it I suppose um, so we can put in something like that maybe get a uh, <laughs> there's next thing he does is he puts a major park next to it and cuts the power off again so yeah I mean let's, let's make it a feature across the city I'm sorry that the game is a bit stuttery because as I said in the previous part my machine is starting to suffer a little bit now with the the load when I'm recording as I say it runs perfectly well when I'm not recording but when I'm recording it is this I do get this stutter problem and of course I think what we can do now is get the Hadron Collider in now I don't know where we can put this maybe we need it somewhere I mean what's the it's got a lot of noise pollution so where can we put this where it won't uh, can we put it up here? Or maybe we can put it over here. Right, let's have a quick look at the zoning. Yeah, this is commercial. We've got a bit of industrial here, so maybe we can drop drop it in here. But it's obviously going to have a construction building already exists. Oh, no, got the wrong one. Ha! Sorry about that, guys. What we maybe can do is if I take that out and we can drop that just in there. That can 
come across like that. Yeah, some of these monument buildings look pretty spectacular actually. They look really good. I know it's probably in a bit in the wrong place, but I don't want the noise pollution. And it will it will produce a boost for this area. So you can see we've got a bit of commercial growing out again now. Commercial seems to be a very popular and this is close enough to have an effect on just just do this and drop some commercial here, maybe we'll kind of put some commercial around the Hadron Collider like that, maybe expand it into this area here although I don't want too much commercial there because part of my slightly croaky voice because that will increase the traffic so maybe we'll just put a little bit of commercial up around here I think this power cable is now joined here. Maybe we can get get some more industrial in here. I mean, it, while I'm doing this, I will talk about something. I mean, I think a lot of you guys, if you're following the series, you're aware that this series probably isn't going to be running much longer. It will probably have another two, maybe three parts because effectively we've got 20,000 to go to get to the target. We've basically filled in all these buildings. The last thing we need to get now is the Eiffel Tower, which is going to take a little while to get to. So I say there's probably about another two or three parts left in this series and then what I will be doing is once this parts this series is finished I will be taking a, a short break from doing doing City Skylines not because I'm bored with it or anything like that but I think I need oops I don't, don't want to do that I think maybe we're come over here with some residential just keep filling this area in nicely yeah it's not that I'm bored with the game in fact it's just that I think sometimes after a series when you're recording it you need to take a little bit of a time off and what I will probably do is come back in a little while after a short break or a break and do some how can you say do the snowfall one. I do have some ideas for that in the sense that it's gonna drop some there. I think what we can do, could do is get the bridge over. Here. Yeah, I'm gonna do a a, a snowfall, proper snowfall one. The, the one I did first time out didn't go so well, but I will have a look at the custom map the available custom maps. Choose a good custom custom map that will I think maybe we can come out here so that people will maybe come across here and just connect in there like that. So they will fill in this area here. Yeah, I'll, I'll, as I say, I will do a, a, a snowfall city on, on <sighs> brain. Sorry, brain's gone f gone to sleep because I'm kind of half watching this and trying to talk at the same time, which is probably not the best ideas. Yeah, um, I will do a a snowfall city on a custom map. Kind of let it grow out. In a, in a nice area probably use some mods because I haven't done a, 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 f a kind of fully modded city which is what I want to do eventually you know is, is do a ditty you know because one of the disapp slight disappointments with doing this city is that when you're trying to build to like a schedule you, you c it's very difficult to 
spend time kind of working on what you'd call the artistic side in the sense that you get very focused on trying to meet the objectives and the targets and to that end you start to lose the the general focus is probably the best way to describe it so so the snowfall one will probably be have a bit more f emphasis on building the city up and then make it, making it look good use some mods to put some specific features in it's something i do want to do and something i will be doing and more get some more density in here and the other reason I won't be starting a new is uh, is the fact that Stellaris is due out soon and I want to have a look at Stellaris I'm not sure whether I will do a let's play on that I will see how I feel about the game because I do play Crusader Kings which is a very good good game if, if you like uh, grand strategy the, the problem is is how do you make something like that interesting to present as a let's play I mean it's it's a fascinating game to to actually play but how how you actually make it interesting is probably a challenge we'll just kind of come out like this just lay some roads in let the city grow up. Maybe we'll put some minor roads in, in like this. We're just kind of laying out the foundation for future growth within the city. Yeah, so... So there are things that I will be working on, looking at in the future. Can that, will that, that join through there, so... Maybe if I join there, I can now take these out. I can just drop in that little bit there. And I suppose it does help if I actually speed the game up. Didn't notice that. Sorry, guys. I think maybe we'll come across like this. Just fill that area in there and we'll just have a look around the city while I talk and that because this is one of the elements of when the city gets this large. When the city's small you make changes and these meters respond very very quickly and when the city gets this large it's almost like you're poking poking the a dragon or something in the sense that you make changes but it takes a little while for those changes to take effect so so that's a, a can be a problem got a little bit I'm not sure why I've got that there I think well just these own these areas I think I can't see the point of having these this on this area here maybe I also dezone this area I don't, can't see any point of having offices in here so we'll just dezone this area out that might ease some of the traffic congestion in this area got a little bit of a joint there maybe I can just sneak across yeah but on the similar vein, guys, I mean, if, if there's anything you want to see, you know, I'm open to suggestions, because I do play a wide variety of games. Not, I mean, yes, the channel... So I'm going to have to go up, I think, to, to get over this area here. And then go down. Just to connect that through there. That could make an interesting connection. Yeah, so I do play a lot of other games that... So my channel doesn't represent every game I play. I do play a lot of games out of curiosity. 
but I have been deliberately choosing games which I think would be interesting to watch. I mean, that is based very much on my personal experience of watching YouTube, because I do watch a lot of YouTube as well. <laughs> I will put my hand up to that. There are some really, really good channels which I follow regularly, people like Lionheart, Legend Total War, uh, Quill18, um, Skystorm, I'm listing there, Arumba, if you're really into Universalis 4 and Crusader Kings, and probably now coming up, now this is May, and I'm sure they these guys will also be doing some very good Stellaris series as as it comes out. In fact, I know Arumba and Quill18 have started Stellaris series. So if you want to see some, you know, if you're interested in Stellaris or anything like that, you can. It, it could be worth having a drop in on their channels. I say I'm going to have a quick look at them when I find some time. Time is my big enemy at the moment, to be honest. So, oops, we've got some water issues here. So, so yeah, I do play other games. And, as I say, so, it, so I will be trying, I'm, so I'm always on the lookout for things that would be interesting to do on the channel, so, I um, might, do uh, let's get in there a little bit. Just kind of keep filling this in here because getting up to here is going to be a challenge. So we've got another 8,000 to go. So we basically, if I zoom right out as far as I can, you can see I've got industrial here, industrial here, industrial here, industrial here, industrial here, a little bit of industrial over here. And which is struggling. Maybe I need to. And just fill this in. And, and I mean, I do like to finish the series that I start. I, I don't like this habit. One of the things. That I forgot the biggest gripe of all. I mean, it may sound like I'm having a bit of a, a moan or whinge against YouTubers. The, the 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 thing I really dislike and something I try to avoid with my channel is the is when people start a series. <coughs> pardon me. And and they get really into it, and then they obviously either lose interest or a new game comes out, and they suddenly decide that to switch on something else and then they don't finish the series they started. I always like to try and finish what I've started so that there's a, a balanced content. So just take that out. Yeah, so so that's one thing I, w I am prepared to guarantee that if I start a series, I will see it through to the end. So we've got a little bit here growing. Yeah, I've zoned a little bit there. Maybe we need to. And if you're wondering where the day night cycle's gone, I've still got it switched off because I think at the moment it's probably more important to to be able to do this work and keep the city growing I think what we're going to do is bring out another kind of residential area here take this out here bit of a bit dog leggy take this off I think what we'll do is kind of come up, put the snapping back on. Hopefully that was the autosave going through, not a pause in the game. And as they were just just kind of 
kind of bring this straighter, squarer like that. I think we can come into that corner there. Something like that. Come out. I don't want to get too close to the highway. I mean, who wants to live next to a motorway? Says the guy who, who spent live for... <laughs> who'd live for nearly... I think was it five years on next to a highway or very close to a highway or motorway as we call them in the in the UK. So, and I'm very aware, well aware of the. It's kind of like a, a low key roar that you get. Got incineration plant. I think we'll pick that up and move it down here. I don't think we really want an incineration plant kind of on the edge of our commercial stroke there. There's another one there actually. I must have got a bit over the gone got a bit carried away. Maybe we'll move that there but we've probably broken the power supply now. Just reconnect that back in again for the moment till such time as a little bit more commercial growing. So maybe we'll drop the commercial in there and a little bit there, take it across here, um, maybe take it out a bit like that. in that area there you can see the fact that this industrial area is not growing yet so it goes to show that it's just that the industrial demand is still a bit stagnant maybe if we just fill in this area here like that maybe a little bit over here just so that it will fill it in. I don't think with in the context of this that you've actually yeah I think it has to be built on. So you can see the the little delivery trucks coming in from there. So we're just gonna let the city run on for a while kind of fill in the gaps and as I say what we will probably do is pick up some more residential over here probably bring the, the create a small little self-contained town over here with some kind of industry going so it's cities growing coming together and I think by moving industry there and using ships, it's actually, I kind of come here and it's kind of ease the pressure off in this area up here. I mean, it's still very, very congested if you look, but it's actually flowing after a fashion. I mean, I did put some underground roads in, which is taking some traffic, but I don't think it's been a particularly big success. But I've left them in there just... You can see here, I mean, it would be nice to create some kind of relief road here, which would take the traffic off of this corner here, but I'm not sure if I can do that. Let's see if we can go down maybe if we can and we're going to have to gonna have to come up probably come up one and come in through there see if that will actually have an impact it's a bit difficult to see, so we'll, what we're going to have to do is go back to this mode. And I mean, sometimes it takes a little while because these tr this traffic's on a, a predefined path. 
So sometimes it takes a little while for the traffic to kind of pick up it, decide to start using that that flow. I mean, I, I am it is going the right way, and I have done it on the right road. Yes. I always get a bit worried, so I've just banged my microphone. It's just gonna let just gonna let it run for a little while. Sometimes you've quite literally got to give it a chance to, to for the traffic to learn about the road and how where it's gonna go. Nothing coming through there yet. I think that might have to be for the next part. Well, I mean one of the annoying things is that underground roads don't have this colouring so you can't actually see what's actually going I think we're going to have to leave that for the moment I mean the other thing I am going to have a quick look at is road maintenance to see if, see if we can generally well, it's not brilliant we've got a few issues over here maybe we can get some get some maintenance trucks in to uh, drop one over here when I mean, they don't make no a lot of noise so one there is maybe we'll put another one here this might actually speed up the roads themselves don't think we probably need one in there got one over here probably not much going on here Maybe drop one in up here. I mean, we've got plenty of cash, so um, maybe another one over here. Just tuck it into this corner and we'll just see if that will kind of improve. I mean, obviously, we've got problems there. I mean that one's so generally this area is in good condition. Um, maybe we'll drop another one here. Just to I suppose technically if I wanted to save money because the education now should be completely off the chart. I, I could start taking down but I don't want to take it down I don't want to take stuff out of the city not unless the budget collapses but I mean why do that I mean the city's looking good it's growing got a nice shape and form to it got this got the art to triumph here which I, I really like the idea of having these buildings in here and of course we got the main city centre now of the colossal offices in the middle here with their nice CO logo on the top and the Gherkin and there and of course my favourite view kind of going across here looks like we've got a bit of a small death wave going here and a fire burning so we've got a few problems looks like we've got problems with a bus route probably here yep that will kind of fix that up probably need to work a little bit on public transport maybe bring a loop back round here back into the city there got this loop here which is feeding here let's have a quick look at maybe we can drop a, a bus lane in here just go round here and then bring it down kind of down like this keep it Keep it simple. You can come up this way. 
come back here. Maybe just stop there. Just there. And actually we can bring another one button while we're looking at it. Let's put Another one round here, like this. Maybe we'll come up this road so that we don't get a conflict. And we'll just come out like that. So we've got a couple of bus routes round here. And actually, let's put a path across through here. Put another one across like that. Whoops. Just put underground footpaths in. Sorry about that, guys. Didn't know you could do that, but that's an interesting concept. We've put footpaths there, which means this will provide a link because we've got two metro stations, we've got one here, one there, and these metro stations can. I think what we will do is we'll drop a little bit of commercial, more commercial here, to create a kind of a pathway, and then that will connect up here. Once that connection's strong, we can then take out the. The power lines. Just maybe we're. Oops, don't mean, didn't mean to do that. Maybe we're just zone over this area here like this. So I want to keep it fairly relaxed. I don't don't particularly want to build it all in very very super intense anymore. I think we've proven the point on that, and I think I've probably rambled on probably far too long guys uh this part so this is where i'm going to leave it hope you've enjoyed the episode and as i say on a final point this series is coming to an end if you want to see anything put a suggestion in the comment i will be so i will be playing stellaris once i get the game because the game the game's out today because it's the ninth of may but of course, obviously, it's going to take me a day to... I normally wait a day before I download it. So I'll be playing some Stellaris. And if you want to see anything to do with Stellaris, pass a comment. I'm, I'm not sure whether I will do anything on it on the channel. I might just play it privately. And on that note, hope you've enjoyed the episode. hope you found it interesting. hope you've enjoyed the whole Let's Play. I mean, it's been an education for me. And I, it was certainly affect the way I will lay out my cities in the future. I'll think a lot more about rather than creating these large mega areas, I'll be building smaller little enclaves of mixed stuff across the city. I think it works better, the traffic flows better. So I've learnt a lot from building this city and playing it. And so until the next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.